And all right, I'm back. We got Cerveza Fauna right here. And this is Imperial Stout. Uh, Nox Arcana is the name of it. Nox Arcana Imperial Stout. And you can kind of see they got a character sitting on a tree limb there. Looks like a, like a baby dragon, perhaps, with a tiny shield and sword um, rested by the base there. No idea what's going on, but it looks like a tiny dragon to me. Nox Arcana. Um, looks like it's in the nighttime with the moon in the background. So there's that. Let's see. This is a uh, beer made in Mexico. Hen Hencho in Mexico. Um, let's see. Water, malt, hops, and yeast. They give us anything else. Cerveza. Ascura, a dark beer. Oh, there we go. Nine ABV. They do give us that. So, an Imperial Stout out of Mexico. Let's see. Does it tell us anything further? There's the website. Uh, Mexicali, Baja, California. Okay. All right. Oh, and then they got the uh, the Cerveza Fauna logo on the top with the wizard there. I suppose I should introduce the beautiful Lancaster Razorworks bottle opener that he made for me. Andre over at Lancaster Razorworks. Good dude. <clears throat> Excellent member of our community right there. And I got a nice little uh, flute. Not really a flute. More like a uh, tulip or chalice. Snifter. There it is. That's what I was looking for. Looks like it has a nice oxidation, hopefully not too much, um, but a nice, very dark, dark, dark liquid there. And we have about a finger and a half of brown head on it. Let's go ahead and take a sniff. Oh man, that does smell robust. There's a little bit of sweetness, a little bit of roasty bitterness. Probably a bit of chocolate as well. All right, let's take a sip. Oh yeah. The 9% doesn't come through with too much booze or too much warmth, but there is a good amount of body there. When I first came, the first sip right there, I got hit with a bit of bitterness up front but then after I uh, completed the drink, it really washed over with this nice uh, cocoa, this nice chocolate. Um, it's kind of long lasting too. I like that. I'm going to go for another one. A little bit less bitterness this time. Um, kind of getting like a, maybe like a burnt caramel, but it's, it's kind of subtle. But a really strong, prominent, like, cocoa uh, chocolate. Very nice. All right, let's get into the shave. Today, we're using Black Mountain Shaving in collaboration with First Line Shave. And this one is called Sutton. So, Black Mountain Shaving did the scent named Sutton. Beautiful, well, I shouldn't say beautiful, but very, um, very badass artwork right there. I like the uh, black and gray scale type theme, uh, looking like you're way too deep in the woods, you know. And then First Line Shave did the soap base. It's the FLS 3.0 soap base. You can see the ingredients there. Very nice side label to match. Four ounces, as you can see. This one has a very smooth pour on it as well. You can see where I scraped some out to put it in my shaving bowl but uh, very nice packaging indeed <clears throat> I already have it lathered up in my Lancaster Razorwork shave bowl a very nice dense creamy lather inside with a nice sheen on it and then there is my badass Lancaster Razorworks shave bowl that I mentioned earlier the brush we're using for today is this turn and shave custom that um, I dreamt up 
And so this one is based on famine from the four horses of the apocalypse and famine rolled up on a black horse. So I wanted black resin on top. I wanted black dyed wood on the bottom. And then we got silver and gold kind of throughout um, the handle there, as you can see. And then on top is the uh, M2 Badger Knot from Turn and Shave with no gelling whatsoever. All right, let's go ahead and get some water on the face, get some lather on the face, and get this show on the road. I hope everybody's doing well when they get around to watching this. Uh, thank you for checking out the channel. <clears throat> I had a, uh, another really busy day at work today, but as always, we get in there and we keep our head down and just work right through it. And um, good to be home, good to be enjoying a nice shave and a nice shaverage, a nice shave beverage. <clears throat> that stout was pretty, pretty damn tasty, I'm not going to lie. Probably one of the better ones that I've uh, had from Mexico <clears throat> thus far. Um, so... This one was $23 for four ounces, and of course it is the FLS 3.0 um, tallow soap base, which is a very good soap base up there with the best of them. <clears throat> this brush right here is a very, very dense badger knot, and so sometimes it can be a bit of a lather hog, and sometimes it doesn't want to release the lather that well so sometimes <laughs> you kind of have to do the old squeegee and then paint on a thin layer because otherwise it just kind of soaks it back in as you can uh, <laughs> kind of see hey let me winks no <laughs> i got a i got a new puppy and she was over there chewing on the uh the old bath towel <laughs> And uh, I'm sure that's something that I'm going to have to look forward to in the future is uh, snapping her out of chewing on things around the house. All right. It's coming on. I don't know if it's um, the brush or what, but kind of a kind of a thin layer painted on this time. The uh, the razor for today is going to be my custom WEC Sexto Blade. You can see that on the uh, the spine there. You can see it says WEC Sexto Blade. Very nice black dyed wood scales and what was supposed to be red uh, resin. That turned out to be like pink and blue and purple. Uh, everything but red. So go figure. To my... Uh, <laughs> to my mm, displeasure, but it's a very cool kind of uh, fang type shape, and um, I drew that up myself, and then my boy Lather Me Whiskers cut it to size, so thank you to Paul at Lather Me Whiskers. Let me, no. <laughs> <clears throat> Sorry for the interruptions. The uh, the blade, the Wex Exto blade, that I have loaded up in here is actually the uh, Diane blade from uh, I think I got it on Amazon so this is not the first use on the Diane blade so we are just gonna test it out and see how it feels today and if need be we will go ahead and Replace it with the fresh one at some point in the shave, but uh, those first few few swipes felt pretty good, so I ain't really worried. One thing about these wax sexto blades is they last pretty long per blade, and they're very sharp. But I find that they are quite smooth as well. They give me some of the most enjoyable shaves I've ever had. And so, whenever I'm feeling up to it, a nice WEC Sexto Blade shave is always fun. Just gotta remember, 
There's no guard whatsoever. This is technically an open blade. And so got to treat this razor with respect. <clears throat> so let's talk a little bit about the scent on this one. Scent notes, oud, cedar, uh, balsam, tobacco absolute, and cashmere. And so that leaves a uh, somewhat smoky but smooth oud. It definitely has a nice mix of that cashmere and tobacco absolute, giving it a nice warm body. And then I think the uh, the cedar and balsam just kind of round it out, giving it a uh, little bit more um, cedar for a little bit of brightness and then balsam a little bit of an herbal touch. Very, very enjoyable type scent. Um, this is one that I wouldn't be too afraid to recommend to people that are a little bit weary about oud scents. This one doesn't really have a prominent animalistic funk whatsoever. It's actually quite cologne-like, and while I, uh, <laughs> while I pretty much bumped into that point, this is actually um, available in Cologne from Black Mountain Shaving. So this is a little sample of the EDP of Sutton. And um, I've worn it twice now. And it smells even better in the Cologne. A little bit more rich, a little bit more um, prominent on those characters. And uh, I've been really enjoying it. <clears throat> the puppy <laughs> is really trying to uh, get my attention. She's like, hey, who are you talking to? I'm down here. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and uh, redistribute a little bit of that. We'll get some moisture on the fingers and add a little bit more moisture to the neck. Get that lather back out of the beard a little bit. And then let me rinse off my fingers because this is slick stuff. <clears throat> so, all right. And then in my last video, I mentioned I usually take down notes. So if you uh, if you are interested in those notes, there is a look at them, and you can kind of pause the screen and and get a better look at them if you'd like. <laughs> I figure since the dog is a uh, nipping at my toes I might as well show her off looks like she got a little bit of crust in her eyes but we'll handle that in a little bit but there's Lemmy Winks <laughs> little Lemmy Winks update all right bed she's like nah <laughs> still working on uh training her she does good sometimes but um the more energy she has the less um responsive to uh our training she is so if she's tired, she she takes really well to the training. And then if she uh, just got up from a nap or something like that, and she has a lot of energy, she's kind of less responsive to that training. <clears throat> and so I'm trying to uh, work on little different uh, techniques to uh, get her interested in in training at all times and she's really really young I think she's about two months at this point a little uh, miniature Daxon so it's understandable that she doesn't quite know what the hell I'm asking of her at this point and we are just gonna have to continue working on her and um, it'll be a challenge but together we will prevail hopefully <laughs> all right that should do just fine even though I know there is a gang of lather left <laughs> with a lot of moisture in it apparently 
Oh, now I'm slinging it around. <laughs> All right. That was probably unnecessary. Okay. Let's just roll with that. Against the grain. Hey. Gather. <laughs> I don't know what's gotten into her tonight. She's uh she's usually laying down without me uh even having to ask her at this time. It's about 9 p.m. But uh maybe she got a nice little rest during the day. I'll tell you what, once I'm done with this shave, <laughs> she better uh better chill out. Feeling very good with the wet sexto blade. <clears throat> and I got a lather all over now. <laughs> I'm just looking at myself, uh, my t-shirt. It's just off camera, but I got a nice little slug of lather right there. I got a little slug of lather <clears throat> right there. And, and it kind of rolled over over there. So when I said I had a lot of lather left, I was not joking. All right, let's get this other side here. Switch my position. I'm gonna take another swig. <clears throat> it's funny, even when you take a really slow stroke with the wax sexto blade. It's just so sharp and so smooth and it just cuts effortlessly. Even when you're not really, you know, um, making a pass with a little bit of quickness and a little bit of um, muscle, <laughs> which I mean, you really don't need to do. A light touch and a deliberate stroke is about all you need. But it's just funny because even with a slow, a slow stroke, it cuts really, really well. Doesn't feel uh, tuggy or harsh in any way. Just kind of always smooth, always sharp. Man, absolutely love the wet sexto blade. Like I was mentioning, some of my closest shaves ever are with the wet sexto blade. <laughs> Just absolutely demolishing the beard growth. <laughs> All right, two passes up, two passes down. Set that to the side. Let's go ahead and rinse this lather off. Get into the post shave, which um, I always look forward to the first line shave, post shave, just as much as the actual shave, because they got a killer after shave uh, base, excuse me. best I can. All right. And then I'm going to dry down with the Lancaster Razor Works black sheep towel in red today. A staple of my everyday shaves, my Lancaster Razor Works gear. Oh. Good stuff. I'll tell you what. Joe at Black Mountain Shaving. I uh, I got the Discovery set um, of his. What is it? Four. 
four EDP samples. And, uh, man, I liked every single one of them. And I gotta be honest, even before I had a rapport with Joe, and I was just um, a fan of the artisans that he collaborated with, release after release that he did the scent on, I thought were bangers. And this is just another one, another feather in his cap, another notch in his belt. Because Sutton is a really nice, enjoyable oud scent. And I think even if you're a little bit weary about oud scents, I think you could uh, give this one a shot and find something pleasant about it. Find something enjoyable about it. There's the matching after shave. And the first line shave bottles always have some sort of gradient on them. And I like how this one goes from black to clear. Very good stuff as per usual. There's the first line shave. There's the ingredients. This is an alcohol aftershave. We'll give it a nice shake to get all the ingredients incorporated. Industry standard restrictor. That's what I'm talking about. And we got a nice uh, kind of milky consistency to this one. It's a little bit um, hazy white hazy gray kind of color and it goes on very silky and and um, it feels good on the skin little tiny little bit of uh, stinging around the cheeks absolutely none on the neck which means that was a damn fine shave <clears throat> and I, when I say a damn fine shave I mean BBS because DK Damn Fine Shave shoots for BBS when he can. All right, so very nice shave, beautiful scent. Cheers, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. I appreciate you. Hope you guys have a good rest of your week, and I'll catch you on the next one. Damn, that's good.